You're watching Greater Brockton. Mike Linger, your host, and today I have a familiar face to Greater Brockton. I have Lynn Smith. Lynn, welcome. Nice to Thank see you. Thank you. Good to see you, Mark. You too. Lynn, you are here today with your old colony elder services hat. That's right. My day job. Your the day job, job that pays the bills. I'm the development manager for Old Colony Elder Services, or some folks know us as OCES. Right. And OCES does all sorts of different things. So we know who you are and what you do, but mm -hmm. what about OCES? There's multiple, if you go on to the website, there's a page that lists all your product and services, or should I say pages? There there's are. at least two of them that you print out in a PDF. And I've taken yeah. advantage of that. They've, they've helped out my parents. Oh, I've good. known the agency for years because they've always done mm -hmm. programming here at Brockton mm -hmm. Community Access. But um, you have everything from protective to meals on wheels mm -hmm. to adult family care and info and referral. Want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, that's right. You can go to OCESMA.org and you can see all of the services that we provide. Most folks know us as the Meals on Wheels people. Mm -hmm. We deliver about 1,600 meals every day. But we also answer about 1,100 phone calls every month. We manage about 600 volunteers. Mm -hmm. And we serve about 18,500 consumers in the greater Plymouth area. So mm -hmm. think of Avon down to Wareham and maybe Easton over to Plymouth. Mm. So the first thing we want folks to think of us as as a resource of information and referral. We have a no wrong door policy. So if you have a question about trying to age in place, if you need a little help to stay in your house, maybe it's Meals on Wheels, maybe it's a little personal care attendant, uh, maybe it's a special program like our Matter of Balance where we help folks avoid slip and falls. We do all sorts of things like that. We have a no wrong door policy. Mm -hmm. So if we can't find you the service that you need, we'll see if we can refer you to an agency that can do it. Okay. And Meals on Wheels, everybody knows about you. you and mm -hmm. that's where a lot of the volunteers come in, correct? That's right, because they deliver. And folks need to know about Meals on Wheels that it's not income-based. Mm -hmm. So if you, and it doesn't have to be permanent. So let's say, Mark, you yourself are of that age that you qualify, and you break your right arm, and you are the chef of the family. And if your wife turned the, fo the stove on, she'd burn the house down. You might need Wheels on Wheels just for a couple of it weeks. It's the other way around, <laughs> okay. but that's okay. What is the age eligible? What is considered? 60 plus. 60, okay. yeah, Unless you're disabled, and then yeah. it, there's not a, an age um, limitation. I'm going to put my glasses on so that I do this uh, right. You know, the other thing that we do, and we see an increase and an uptick on, is protective services. Mm -hmm. Do you know last year we fielded about 2,600 phone calls about potential elder abuse, whether it be physical, psychological, financial, and we referred about 60% of those calls to the um, district attorney's office for um, investigation. Now, what I wanna say to the audience is if you suspect that there may be elder abuse in your community, in your family, you can call us, you can remain anonymous, mm -hmm. and any solution is what we call client-directed. Mm -hmm. If the person, when we go out and investigate, says, as my grandmother used to say, scramez-vous, I don't mm -hmm. want anything to do with you, we have to abide by the choice of that elder. Uh, but it is a way to be a good neighbor, to keep your eyes and ears open, um, to make sure that the folks, you know, Mark, anyone, and I'm getting to that age, what's my number one wish? That I can stay in my own house for as long as I can. Nothing against nursing homes or assisted living, but I want to stay in my own house. And that's what we try to do. Okay. I got the five minute sign, so we got a lot to go over. Mm -hmm. But you folks provide emergency funds and in order to provide funds, OCES is mm -hmm. a nonprofit, 501c3. Right. So besides the volunteer services, you have to raise money. And you're the development person. That's and, right. And, and even from as simple as someone giving you money as a donation, 
for the Meals on Wheels, okay? But mm -hmm. all sorts of things. But you have something coming up called the Giving Tuesday? We do, and it's very, very interesting. So sometimes we have folks that come to us and maybe they've just had a bad month. You know, they're on Social Security or they're on disability income and the oil burner blows up. Or maybe they've used up any fuel assistance. And remember that terrible winter we sure, had that it yeah. just never stopped? And they need one delivery of oil. Or maybe it's an older person who needs some grab bars right. in their bathroom just to be able to stay in their home. So OCES has what we call an emergency fund. And our care managers, when they see someone in need, they will come in and request usually a one-time special amount to help that person get over that hump. So the way we raise money, we don't have a big gala or a big ball or any of that. We use Giving Tuesday. Now back in about 2012, there was a YMCA in New York that partnered with the United Nation. And they said, you know what? Around Thanksgiving, what happens? Black Friday, bye, bye, bye. Right. Cyber Monday, bye, bye, bye. Sure. How about devoting a day to give, give, give? Okay. So the Tuesday after Thanksgiving is Giving Tuesday, a day that you can sort of take a breath from all the commercialism and give to help a nonprofit like ours directly to the community. You know, our money goes right back here locally. Right. So that's November 29th. That but you is can give November. any day. That's right. The kickoff is November 29th, but we've already sent out letters to our supporters. We have a special page on our website, ocesna.org. So you can go to that website, click on Giving Tuesday. There's a secure way where you can donate right online using a credit card. You don't have to do it that day and it doesn't work. It can be any time throughout the month of November and December. And we want folks to know that your donation goes directly to a person in the community in need that our care managers have referred to a us. A lot of times you give and you're not sure where it's going, you're not sure if it's for administrative costs or whatever it's for. So it's right here in the, right the greater here. Brockton area. area. And you know, Giving Tuesday itself is a national campaign. You, you can Google it and you'll start to hear about it. Last year in 2015, 698,000 people went online and donated $116 million. So the average is about $107 um, per person. So boy, if we could raise the money to take care, you know, maybe it's a guy like Frank, who's, you know, he's a retired vet, and he says, I never ask for anybody for money, but, you know, my oil burner blew up, and I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, it's people like my folks that would never ask for help. I have a dad that never <gasps> wanted to use VA services. There you go. So you, you hit the nail on the head. We're at the end, okay? Mm -hmm. I barely have a minute left. Website, phone number, and anything else you want to say in... 60 seconds or less. Right, so we're asking the folks in the community to please help us help our elders, our experienced neighbors, and the disabled to stay in their own homes and live in a healthy and safe environment for as long as they can. So you can go to ocesma.org, click on Giving Tuesday, you'll go to a secure site and give as much as you can to help us help our consumers. Or if you have any questions, you can call me, Lynn Smith, and I'm right on Main Street in Brockton. Everybody sees me, I'm the lady that cleans the community garden. And you can reach me at 508-584-1561. You know how everyone takes selfies? Well, we're asking folks, be part of the unselfie movement this November. Are you watching Greater Brockton? Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.